shortly. For the best viewing experience, be sure to join from a computer. At this time, take a moment to check out our toolbar. Here you can find group chat, where you can chat with other attendees during a live event. Help desk, where you can submit your questions. Meet our local sponsors. Here you'll find information about our sponsors that helped bring us today's event. And the information icon, where you can learn helpful tips about viewing a webinar. Finally, a recording of today's events will be available on the Walk main stage. Thank you again for joining, and we will begin momentarily. Hello, I'm U.S. Senator Gary Peters, and welcome to this year's Walk to End Alzheimer's. Whether you are walking to support a loved one or to stand up in your own battle against this devastating disease, your journey today will have an invaluable impact on the fight to end Alzheimer's. I have been proud to partner with the Alzheimer's Association to ensure patients, loved ones, and caregivers have the support needed, including as we navigate through this difficult pandemic. These efforts are shaped by your stories, and I will continue working to support you as we partner together in the fight to secure federal resources and funding for research and care. Thank you, and enjoy the walk. Welcome to the Alzheimer's Association's Walk to End Alzheimer's. I'm Mark Elliott from Light 96.3 Radio, and I'm happy to be here. Of course, here is the Light 96.3 Breakfast Show Studios. I'd love to be seeing all of your faces in person. This would be great to do, you know, our old kind of walk, but, you know, it's 2020, which is more of a Stephen King novel than a year, and your health and safety is our number one priority. Things look a little different this year, but one thing has not changed. It's our commitment to ending Alzheimer's. This year, the walk is everywhere. Every sidewalk, every track, wherever you've chosen to walk, by yourself or with a small group of family or friends or with your team. You know, everybody else around here is doing this exactly the same thing. We're walking and fundraising to get a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia. Currently in the United States, there's more than 5 million people, in over 200,000 right here in Michigan living with Alzheimer's and 16 million individuals serving as their unpaid caregivers, as my mom did for my dad for over five years. 
The money we raise helps the Alzheimer's Association help people like my mom, providing critical care and support services, the free 24-7 helpline, education programs, and the website alz.org. Your efforts also help the association continue its work, rallying a nationwide network of advocates to speak up for those facing the disease. But you know, in the end, the end of Alzheimer's comes through research. And the money you raise today makes that possible. Currently, the association is investing over $208 million in more than 590 active scientific investigations, leading the way for global progress. One day, we will end this disease, and we're going to do it together. So far, we've raised $43,116, working towards a goal of $140,000. Now it's time to help out. Give a little bit more. Squeeze a little bit more out of this. Just grab your phones. 51555 is the number. Text this there. The number 2 and ALZ. 2 and ALZ. Send it to 51555. And let's just let's just give a little bit more. Throughout the day today, we'll be cheering each other on during the walk. Take lots of pictures, post them on social media. We have a couple of hashtags. Hashtag walk 2 and ALZ. WLK, the number two, and ALZ, and hashtag end ALZ. In our walk this year, we're very fortunate to have two national presenting sponsors working right along with us, Edward Jones and CVS Health. Let's hear a few words from our national My name is sponsors. Matt Makula, a principal in our information systems division with Edward Jones and co-chair of My Local Walk and Alzheimer's in St. Louis. I'm glad to be with you today. For nearly a century, Edward Jones has been in the business of building relationships and helping clients preserve family wealth. Alzheimer's disease has sought to destroy them both. On behalf of the 49,000 Edward Jones Associates, it's an honor to join you in this fight as a Walk and Alzheimer's national presenting sponsor. Today, I'm proud to share that we recently bolstered our strategic alliance with the Alzheimer's Association committing $25 million over the next five years. This commitment builds on the 25 million already raised by the firm, our associates and communities since launching the Alliance in 2016. This year alone, Edward Jones Associates, clients and their families are participating on thousands of virtual teams by walking individually or with their families in their local neighborhoods with the goal of raising $3 million but we aren't going to stop there. We will continue to accelerate the fight by funding research, raising awareness, and increasing referrals to vital care and support services until the day there is a cure for Alzheimer's. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Lisa Bazacha, and I am the Chief Human Resources Officer of CVS Health. I am so proud to be here with you today virtually to kick off this exciting and innovative event with the Alzheimer's Association. At CVS Health, our purpose is helping people on their path to better health. And we are proud to stand with you on the path to a better future, one where we can stop this devastating disease. On behalf of our nearly 300,000 employees across the country, we are thrilled to join you as a national presenting sponsor of the Walk to End Alzheimer's. We have made a three-year, $10 million commitment to the Alzheimer's Association, and through this partnership, we will raise funds and awareness to advance the cause while helping families facing Alzheimer's and all other dementia diseases by connecting customers with Alzheimer's Association care and support resources. Supporting people living with Alzheimer's and other dementia diseases and their caregivers is important now more than ever as we battle the COVID-19 pandemic. Together with the Alzheimer's Association, we are inspiring our colleagues, our customers, our clients, our patients, and our communities to join the fight against this disease. Thank you to our colleagues that are walking today and thank you to each and every one of you for your dedication to ending Alzheimer's. Thanks so much to the folks at Edward Jones and CVS Health. There's a lot of other sponsors that are helping us make today's walk possible. 
Comfort Keepers, Monarch Home Health Services, Warren Orchards Between the Bays, MSU Federal Credit Union. Here's a full list of this year's sponsors. I'd also like to thank the 2020 Walk to End Alzheimer's national teams who've joined forces across the country in recruiting people and teams and helping raise awareness and funds that are critical to advancing the mission of the Alzheimer's Association. And thank you to all of the volunteers who've worked so hard over the past couple of months. Our devoted walk planning committee, this group of dedicated individuals has worked tirelessly to put this year, of course, a very different year, putting this year's event together. And finally, a huge thank you and congratulations to our top three individual fundraisers. So far, Wendy Warren, Nikki Klama, and Nancy Vanderlyn have collectively raised over $12,000. And our top fundraising team to date, Gary's Gang, has raised an impressive $5,373 so far. Keep up the great work. Donations for this year's walk accepted through December 31st, 2020. You know, you all should have gotten a whole bunch of walk flags in the mail when you registered. You may have noticed one of the designs is a sea of colorful flowers. And just a minute, I'm going to have you grab that flag and wave it high as you walk today. But first, take a look at the flowers. They're at the open space. That's where our promise garden is. It'll be there until three o'clock today. Hopefully you'll have a chance to drive by. Those flowers and the ones on your flags represent everybody, all of you, and all of our reasons to end Alzheimer's. The orange flowers represent participants like Benita Schoonover, who's walking today to support the cause and the association's vision of a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia. Benita has been a volunteer for the Alzheimer's Association for 19 years, and she's facilitated or co-facilitated support groups for six years. Her full-time job is in memory care, and she has a special gift for working with persons living with dementia and Alzheimer's. All of the purple flowers represent people like Cindy McGarry, who's here today because she's lost someone to Alzheimer's, just like me. Her mother passed from Alzheimer's. She was her caregiver and now works every day with those who are enduring this devastating disease. The yellow flowers represent walk participants like Paul Waterstrad. He's with us today because he's supporting someone with Alzheimer's. He and his wife, Terry, have been married 53 years, back in 1967. He told us, quote, our journey with dementia started in 2014. We've been in this fight together for a long time. And the planted blue flowers represent people like Jane Schroeder, wife of Len, mother of Kurt, Ann, Paul, and Frank. Jane is here today because she's living with Alzheimer's and dementia. There's a flower we need to add to this promise garden because I know that one day, We'll have a white flower that represents that first survivor of Alzheimer's. And until that beautiful day happens, we can't stop. We cannot back down. We can't stop walking. We are leading the way because together, one step at a time, we can end Alzheimer's. You ready? All right. Get, your, get ready to go. Join me. Watch this very special countdown video, and then we'll get out and start walking. Someone once said, every great journey begins with one step. Let's take yours now. Thank you so much. Let's walk to end Alzheimer's. Thanks for your participation and happy walking.